guys, this is what's coming up in today's episode. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. back to Play Candy. So today, what are we going to be making? We are going to be making stress balls. Stress balls. And we're going to make lots of different ones, but the first one we're making for is... Bruni. Okay, so Bruni needs a pink stress ball. So we've got a pink balloon and we've got this lovely pink... Kinetic sand. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this kinetic sand into the balloon, but it's not easy to do. So we have got our funnel, we're going to put our balloon over the edge, and then we are going to... We are going to flip it over, of course, and then we're going to put the kinetic sand in, and then we're going to tie a knot, and then we're going to do it. We are going to do all of those things. But now it's hard to get the kinetic sand in, so we needed to use this wooden stick. dowel stick to poke the sand down. Just be careful not to punch a hole through your balloon. Just do it. And then we're going to fill it up and fill it up until it's as full as we can get it. Yeah, we're just going to tip the whole bag in. And then once we're done, we'll remove it from the funnel and we'll tie a knot in the balloon. Okay, so here we are, we're putting our knot into the balloon and we're just going to give it a good squeeze and look at that guys, that is super good. Ooh, I love this one. It might be a bit hard. It is a bit, it is a bit hard actually, but it feels nice. I'm going to just cut the end of this balloon off because we don't want that bit poking around. So here we have it, our first stress ball our pink bruni stress ball and i like it but we can't stop we've still got loads more have we okay well let's get on to number two who are we going to make for our lovely little butterfly crybaby what shall we have this lovely yellow one alex yes, yes. because she's a yellow butterfly yes and yellow is one of your favorite colors isn't it yes okay so again let's pop it over the end of the funnel and this time we're going to fill this stress ball with some of this air dried clay and this is neon pink and we're going to use some foam balls I've got a feeling this is going to get messy yes because foam balls are messy 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 wessy desi okay so let's get our clay and let's just start picking up some of those clay ball those foam balls and mix it all into the clay clay balls? it's clay balls there we go look at so, so sticky clay mega sticky okay so I'm going to just scooch all of these up and now the hard thing as well is going to be getting it into the balloon um we can't use that thing what we used last time because it's going to be hard to get it down because it's going to stick to the side you think it'll stick to the stick no to the side down the I think it will but we've got to give it a try so once we've got our little you should have done that one last because it might make, make it a bit messy. You're right. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll them into tiny little sausage finger shapes and I'm going to squish it down. My little finger. And then I'm going to poke it with the stick. Poke it into the balloon again. Oh, this is messy. Okay, guys, this is the finished product. And what it's, do you think? It, it's really harder than the other one it to squish. Hard to what do you think it feels like? Do you think it's harder than the kinetic sand? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, let's. should we get on to number three? Yes. Okay. So, in the meantime, I had this leftover clay. I've turned it into little clay balls, and I've covered them with about three or four coats of clear nail varnish, and I'll show you what they do at the end, guys. These are mega fun to play with. So, keep an eye out at the end. But for now, we're going to move on to our third crybaby. <laughs> it's our little fibby frog and we've got a green balloon for a green frog and we're using corn flour hmm so we usually use corn flour to make our um, slimes 
but this is going to be for a stress ball. Now it, I thought it would just flow down the funnel into the balloon, but actually it doesn't want to, so we're going to use our pokey stick again, aren't we? Pokey sticky wicky. Yeah, pokey sticky, get it in there, and there we go, tie the knot in, and let's have a look at our new stress ball. This one might be my favourite. Is this one your favourite? It's super squishy. Yeah, but with the other stress balls, they're supposed to go up like a, like a squishy, like go up. But with the other ones they didn't, but with the K ones they did. Yes. Okay, so should we get on to number four? Yes. Okay, I've got this lovely glittery balloon. Oh, and, and it's, it's got these little, little sequiny things yes, in there. It has. So and I'm we're going to put all these in it. All Red. Yeah. And? And the crybaby. And blue. And blue. And green. And green. And? and and yellow. And yellow. So we've got all sorts of orbies. Are you going to help me throw them in, Alex? Yes. Right, dig in. Come on then. I'm a bit late to put them in. I'm just going to get a little run. There you are. Alex has got some green ones. She's going to just throw them in. This was fun, wasn't it? So we made these orbies ourselves. These are water beads, actually, and so you, we soaked them in some water, and then they just grow really big. Like and they were like this dot with a pen, and then they just grew massive. They did. They grew really big. Okay, now that we filled that to about this size, we're going to tie our knot in. Ooh. This is the actual stress. Yes. Okay. So there we go. Look at that. Look at that little end. Look. Look at. Look at Alex's hand. She really wants to play with it. Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. That looks so cool. What do you think? Should we let Alex have a turn? Yeah. Should we make her wait a bit longer? She really wants to play with it. Give me. Give me. Poor Alex. Bloop, 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 bloop. There you go. We'll let Alex have a turn. This one, Alex. I think it's good that you just covered up all the orbies. The glitter covered up all the orbies, but you can see the orbies when you squish it. Look. Squishy, squishy. squishy and squishy, when you squish squishy. it, the orbies show. Okay, but now we are making this squishy for oh, Lady. Okay. So we're and, and we're also going to cut a bit of a balloon. Yes. So we're going to use a red balloon because it's Lady. And we're going to just pop it over the top of our orby stress ball and then we're going to squish it i think this balloon might be slightly too small but it's it'll do look so we just poke it in a bit and then we'll whoop and then when you squish it it does a bit okay so we've got our kinetic sand for bruni here we've got our clay and foam balls we've got our corn flour one which is super soft and squishy and now we've got our orbies i think we should do one well, more what do you just, think? Yeah. Just one more. Just one more. Let's do a whole. Let's do one for fancy. And we've got the super duper balloon because it's got a, a flingo. A flingo or a flamingo. And we are gonna make our own slime to put inside this one. So we've used PVA glue, we've used contact lens solution, and we'll use a bit of corn flour. No, this is not corn flour. What do we use to activate? Baking. Baking soda. Baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and that activates it and we're going to put a bit of <gasps> rose, rose, rose colouring. Rose. It's and actually it is actually purple. So I'm going to give it a good squish. I think I've over activated it but it doesn't matter because it's only going to go inside our stress ball. Give me. Ooh. Alex Super is. squishy. Alex is having a good old squish in the background to see which is her favourite and she can tell us at the end. Okay, so Alex is helping me to put the slime into the balloon. We're just stretching the balloon open ah. and we're going to just... <gasps> ah, my finger's stuck. Help. My second favourite is the slime and then the orbies. Okay. Now that I've got my finger out, we're going to tie a knot in it again and we'll give it a good old squish. And then we'll cut, and then we'll cut the end off, yes. Okay, so guys, here it is. This is our slime stress ball. So we've made all five of them now. Yeah, hold hands. We let's do both Okay, so let's have a little look at what we've got. If we add our, we'll put them all in a row. We've got our kinetic sand, 
We've got our clay and foam balls, corn flour, and we have got this sequiny stuff. Orbies. And got Orbies, and we've also got this blue one over it. Yeah, we've got our slime one. Okay. So, I want you to tell me which is your favourite. Let's put them all in order. Okay, so you tell me. I'm going to get Alex to tell me. I think. My favourite might be this one, the kinetic sand one, I think is my favourite, it's super hard. Number two is the clay and foam balls, I'm not that keen on this one, it was a bit hard to make as well. Number three, hmm, lovely, this, this is our corn, this is my favourite. Okay, so Alex's favourite. Uh, number four is our Orbeez, we like this one as well. because that, it's my, that, That's my third favourite. Your third favourite, okay. Because it looks so pretty, doesn't it? Yes. And finally, number five got was Fancy Flingo. And, and that one is my second favorite. That's your second favorite. And then my and my fourth, it would probably be Bruni, and then the butterfly. And guys, you tell me in the comments down below: is it your favorite number one, Kinetic Sand? Is it number two? That's my favourite, is it number two? Alex's favourite is number three, which is the corn flour. And she also likes the Orbeez and the slime, so we're going to give them a little, little play with when we're finished doing this, but we'd really like you guys to let us know down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button if you haven't done so. But guys, have a look at these. Remember we made these earlier. So there we have it guys, that's our clay cracking. If you want to make those, just use some clay and cover it with some nail polish and let it dry. And then it makes that super fun cracking sound. And that's all we've got time for, isn't it Alex? Yes. Thank you for doing the video with me today. You're welcome, but there's one more thing. Bye bye. Bye bye guys, we're sending you lots, lots of, of love. Bye bye.